Wasabi, wasabi, salsa verde, salsa verde. Hey guys, Jason here. You're watching Off Duty. I'm here at Talde in Park Slope, Brooklyn. It's Dale Talde's restaurant. This guy right here. You may know him from Top Chef. He has now turned into a very awesome regular chef. We're here in Park Slope, which is a very nice, fancy, special neighborhood of Brooklyn. It has a very uh, family-oriented vibe. We're right here on the corner of a bustling street. And uh, we're gonna eat some food. We're gonna hang out with Mike and Andrew. Maybe Dale will be here as well. Let's go take a look in the kitchen. What's up guys, Jason here. I'm with Andrew. We're in the kitchen here at Talde and we're gonna make some pad thai. Yeah, our crispy oyster and bacon pad thai. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the oysters uh, and drop them into the fryer at 325. And then we're gonna start the pad thai. And with cooking things in the wok, you wanna have everything ready so you could put it all in together. So here we have, uh, some dry Thai chili, some Chinese uh, chives, a little preserved uh, salted radish, some fresh garlic, uh, red onion sliced, and bacon. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the eggs into a nice hot wok, into the wok, and then the uh, aromatics go in and the bacon. And then we're gonna add our Pad Thai noodles, the Pad Thai rice noodle that is just soaked in cold water. Okay. And then we're gonna stir fry that. And then once you've wilted down the noodles a little bit, you're ready to add your pad thai sauce. Uh, this is the sauce we make here in house. And as that's happening, you wanna add uh, everything that goes in the pad thai. We do uh, some julienne of carrots, some bean sprouts, peanuts, cilantro, and basil. They still have a little bit of a bite to them. They offer a little bit of texture and contrast. I'm gonna pull out these oysters we fried up, hit them with a little bit of salt. And then right at this point, it's ready, we'll pull it out. Goes onto the plate here. Some uh, Thai basil leaves. A little bit more fresh cilantro. Some shaved red cabbage, give it a little crunch. A couple lime wedges. And then the crispy oysters right on top like this. Perfect little dish. Mmm, bad, right? Mm. So good. All right, Andrew. Thank you so much for cooking us pad thai, bacon fried oyster. Definitely, yeah. We got Korean fried chicken coming your way. Uh, we're gonna do our signature pretzel pork and chive dumplings, which are fantastic. I'll have those ready for you and excited for you guys to try them. Okay, all right, bud. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Dale at Tall Day. How are you doing, man? Same place. Good to meet you. We have, this is the pretzel pork, pork dumpling. Pork and chive dumpling. Pork yeah. and chive dumpling. So, standard dumpling with the pork and chive filling, treated with like a pretzel-like yep. preparation. I mean, it even has that smell, like that smell, like the, to me yeah. it's more about that aroma of like, you know, New York City streets of the, the pretzel cart mm -hmm. dude with the dirty water dogs and. You eat with the nose. Of course, of course. Woo hoo hoo. All three dishes you guys kind of saw today, the pad thai, the dumplings, and the chicken are all the perfect kind of example of the Asian, what we do with Asian American here. I mean, the dumplings are a play on a New York City pretzel with a mm -hmm. classic Chinese dim sum. The pad thai is a classic pad thai with bacon and oysters. And then this, the, the kimchi yogurt ha has some French red hot sauce in it. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, it's like- There is a buffalo-esque like to it, yeah. Really, yeah, classic, uh, okay. like buffalo-esque, exactly. We said Asian American, because it really fits who I am. Yeah. All the cooks here are, are some, were some part American. What brought you to this part of town? You know, I was dead set on Lower East Side, East Village. I didn't, you know, I didn't really understand. And then I came out here and I was like, you know, there's so, there's great restaurants in Park Slope, no doubt, but it's not as, um, saturated, saturated as city. East Village, or yeah, or even the city. You know, we wanted to kind of have something that people would come to and say that's special. Well, I think you did it, man. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much. And also, you just wrote a cookbook. I just did write a cookbook. You know, with cookbooks, it's like they're funny because you don't really make a ton of money off of them yourself. 
<laughs> it's good play for everybody that's involved. It's it's an interesting way to, to look at your own food. So then you get to kind of write these recipes and scale them down and then write all the wording for a home cook, which we're not used to doing. It was definitely proved difficult for uh, a couple of cooks who don't really know how to write very well. And yeah, not, right, I can barely read and I can barely read. So it's like, it was- it well, was, That's the beauty of America, man. Amen. Come here, you don't know how to read. <laughs> You wrote a, you wrote a <laughs> whole book. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much guys. I appreciate it. You've been watching Off Duty. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like watching these videos. We have plenty more to check out. See you guys next time.